In this video, we have the challenge of turning a desolate piece of land in the middle of nowhere into a fully functional money-making farm. And if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to give that like button a little tap. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, it helps me make videos like this. Anyway, let's go build a farm. Well, boys, it's a beautiful morning back out here on the farm. The Ford is uh, looking a little worse for wear, so I don't know. We might have to upgrade this eventually. So the other day, we started cutting hay with our brand new hay bine, and uh, we made a little bit of progress. But today, we're going to completely finish this field and try to get a bunch more stuff done our crops are looking really dang good so hopefully very soon we should be able to harvest them we got the good old 4020 here hooked up to the baler and our square baler cart and uh yeah we got the good old 4020 hooked up to our baler and our bale cart so uh yeah let's get to work as far as everything goes our diesel tanks are full this morning so we're pretty much good to go it's really dry and sunny out this morning so we're gonna try to get as much as we can done and hopefully just maybe we can get to some bailing so as of right now we have five thousand eight hundred and eight $86 in the bank account. We don't have any big expenses coming up so far as I know, other than the initial cost for, of course, running all this equipment. But as any good farm owner knows, that can all change in an instant. Well, it's only taken a little bit, but uh, we have finally gotten this chunk done completely cut and uh the hay is looking pretty dang thick so i'm gonna say we're gonna get a lot of square bales from this like a lot so with that being said i went back to the house and hopped on my apex gaming pc to go look at a couple things speaking of apex gaming pcs if you guys want a gaming pc then look no further than apex gaming pcs you can get five percent off using code farmer and we have tons of options on the austin farmer line to suit your budget and what you want for specs i'll have them linked down in the description anyway back to the video but after checking around on my computer i found this a 1970s ford f-250 lifted with some pretty big mud tires now is it the best possible farm truck i could buy no but does it look absolutely cool and would work for what i want Yes. So after messaging the guy back and forth, we came to a price of $8,000. But after looking at my money, I may be a little short. But right in front of me was the one thing that would make us the amount of money we needed to go buy that truck. So we hopped in the 4020, fired it up, and got to work. Now, since it was so dang dry out, we were able to easily bale all this stuff up with no problem and virtually no drying time. And with the bales flying and the cart filling up, in no time we were going to have that money. About an hour later, and we almost have a completely full cart full of square bales, and we're about half done this field. But in my excitement to start bailing and get the truck, I kind of forgot one thing. We currently have have absolutely nowhere to store the square bales over the next little while until the price goes up now well we are of course selling this very first load to make our money we still want to store some over the winter until the price goes up so that brings up our next problem we need to choose a shop from the endless options we have and somehow make enough money to get it built now this of course is no easy task considering we're still only at five thousand eight hundred and eighty six dollars and we want to buy a truck but with this big trailer full of square bales we we're about to see how much money we were really gonna make so after getting the trailer unhooked we hopped in the dually grabbed our square bale trailer to get it hauled to town and see how much we could sell these for and it looks like one missed the cart just gotta toss that in there so with the dually loaded down and barely able to pull this we headed into town once we got into town it was time to see how much money we could really make and with all the square bales sold we had made seven thousand and ninety dollars which brought us to just under thirteen thousand dollars so i made a quick call to the guy that was going to sell us our new truck and we decided we'd meet up at the equipment dealer to make the deal after checking the truck over and of course here in run we came to a deal and i handed him the eight grand in cash so after making the deal for the new truck i talked to the used equipment owner and sold this truck to him for two thousand dollars which doesn't seem like a lot but this thing was pretty beat up so after getting my two thousand dollars we hopped in my new truck grabbed my bail wagon and went home well we are back at the farm here i got the uh, bail wagon dropped off there by the baler but check out our new truck eight thousand dollars it wasn't like crazy expensive for this truck but it was pretty good market value even though this thing's all done up it's still pretty high k but it's a nice truck it's a diesel it's a manual it's kind of lifted up here for the uh, terrain we got around here it's really really nice to have it's not a dually like our old one but it can still haul quite a bit and i i kind of hate to have a truck this nice out at the farm but you know what i think it's gonna work so that last trailer i think we got like nine grand for or something i can't exactly remember but i was checking out shops and i found a solid one for ten thousand dollars that they would come out here build all we got to do is level out the land here and i think it's gonna go right here 
Now, we've still got a lot more hay we can cut if we need. And if we want to do that, we got to do it real quick because this warm weather, this nice, slightly breezy stuff ain't going to last forever. So we better get to work. Now, we've got just under seven grand with our sale of our old truck there. So I'm hoping with this last little bit we got to bail up here, that's going to be just enough for us to buy our shops so we can actually start storing some bales because currently I don't want to make more than I can store at the moment. Now, we do, of course, have to take a couple bales over to our neighbor who sold us this bale wagon for really cheap. And that was kind of part of the deal there. So yeah, we're not done work just yet. So with our day half over already, I went and finished up the last little bits of this field, but then it was time to grab the last couple square bales that had somehow one way or another missed the cart because I wasn't about to lose any money. There was of course a lot more bales left in the field than I thought there was, so I unhooked the tractor and uh, just picked them up this way. After getting the last bale we needed tossed into the trailer, we took a trip into town to get the last few sold. After pulling into town and getting the last few bales sold, we had just enough in the bank account to buy our new shop. Well, with only $355 left, I think it's safe to say we spent most of our money, but I'd say it was pretty dang worth it. This is our brand new shop. It has everything we're gonna need, other than tools. We'll get tools and a lift in here eventually, but for now, this is absolutely perfect. We can stack square bales on here if we want. Oh man, this is so cool. It's actually starting to look like a real farm. I think once we get enough money, because we we're pretty broke right now, we will uh, get a fuel tank put in like somewhere right around here. We ended up doing a lot of the landscaping with the tractor. And uh, yeah, we, we got this built for exactly 10 grand, which seems really cheap, but I know a guy, so I got a really good deal. And yes, I could have took out a loan to uh, technically pay for this just over time, but you know what? I think I'd save that for something a little bit better. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should be able to take out loans or not, because I want to try to keep this series as realistic as possible. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But it's a pretty small shop. Got, I think, enough room for everything we're going to need, really. You know what? I don't know if my cart's going to fit in here, if my bail cart is actually going to fit in, because it just might. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, it's going to. Oh, this is going to be so perfect. Okay, we're going to be okay for space. So I think the plan will be to get this completely filled up again again and uh, give some to the neighbors who sold me this cart and then fill this thing right completely full and store the hay over winter and of course it's going to get more expensive over the winter so once the price reaches a good enough well price for me to sell the rest of the bales I will and then eventually hopefully we can get a square baler like a bigger one or a round baler or something and then just store round bales or something but I think we can get most of the equipment put in here I do need a pressure washer I have a water source out here it's hooked up to the house we have a well now which is awesome Still no power. I have a generator hooked up here. So this just comes off my fuel bill every month. And we're having to pay that fuel bill really soon, which is, I think, $1,500 or $1,000. Can't remember off the top of my head. So we're going to have to get some money fast. But for now, let's get some of the equipment that we're not actually using. Just put in the shop there. That way it's out of the elements. Because the more time we can store it in here, the uh, less it's going to uh, depreciate. However, I will keep the hang equipment out here because we're going to need it pretty soon again. With the day coming to a close, we got the rest of the equipment hooked up and put into the shop. Which the cedar did not have much room but it made it in eventually. After getting the last piece of equipment put away, we started gearing up for what would be our busiest and our toughest week on the farm yet. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.